All right. Good evening, everyone. Andy with Bleacher Bums Gaming. And uh, thought it would be fun. I um, haven't really started rating the uh, 2021 uh, season for uh, Glory Days College Football yet, but I thought it would be fun if I did uh, pre-rate a couple of teams for, for the uh, upcoming college football playoffs. So I did uh, Georgia and Michigan, and we're going to do a little pre-play again testing mode for the in development glory days college football scheduled for release early spring of 2022 and uh, a couple of things too um, that actually good news uh, I found some sources that helped me uh, dial in big plays per team better so that's been included in the game and uh, the biggest news at least for uh, those who are not going to use uh, the play-by-play -play mode, is I've developed finally an Excel spreadsheet to do uh, distribute stats for the simulated drives. So when this game releases, there will be three ways to play. You can play basically every uh, single play of the game, which, of course, will take longer, uh, up to an hour and a half. Uh, you can do a hybrid mode where you simulate a portion of the drive, and then uh, once, if the drive is successful and you get into scoring uh, territory, you then jump into play-by-play -play mode. And also uh, working on tweaks for a full drive simulation mode, which obviously will be the pick, uh, quickest to play, and you can get a game out of the way in that mode, uh, shooting for about 30 minutes. So three ways to play and I uh, I actually hybrid is my favorite and that's what we're going to do here um, so just a real quick look at the teams and the main thing here both teams are very solid in terms of um, running game both average 5.3 per carry on the ground the main thing is uh, Georgia's run defense is absolutely ridiculous. They have 11 stuffs, which in teams I've rated so far is far and away high or the high uh, number. Michigan's defense, rush defense is above average, but nowhere close to uh, Georgia's. That's really going to be where the uh, tail of this game plays out in uh, who can effectively stop the other team's run. So we're going to uh, get going, and Georgia has won the toss. Each uh, team will get 11 drives in this game. So pretty much evenly matched in terms of possession and that type of thing. And let me just adjust this. There we go. All right, so we're going to get going, and uh, – Georgia will receive the kickoff special teams. Georgia's kickoff return is a C, and Michigan's kickoff is a B. All right, so here we go. B. And actually, I'll need it to roll a single die. It's going to be a touchback, so Georgia takes over on their own 25 as we jump into the simulated drive portion. And both teams, in terms of talent, both have a talent factor of two, and both very good on their drive offense and defense, both clocking in with a 12. So there will be uh, basically no adjustments. Uh, so there we'll roll the uh, simulated drive portion for both teams off the zero column. And once we get into play by play mode, uh, both teams' defenses are going to have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, run defense. Georgia is both actually both a nine in run and pass defense and play by play. Michigan is an eight in run defense and a nine in pass defense. So pretty good advantage for Michigan pass defense wise. Uh, fair, well, even basically run defense versus run offense for uh, Michigan or for Georgia when they're in play by play mode. And Georgia's pass offense is going to take a little bit of a hit. They're going to be a minus three on the drive chart. So we're ready to go. And first simulated drive. And again, I'll be using the um, new score sheet. So I'll be able to do updates uh, of final stats at the end of the game. 
All right, so 33 and 33 evenly is barely going to be a successful drive and a roll of 15 on the drive chart. And it's going to be four plays, 37 yards for the simulated portion of the drive. So we will jump into play-by-play -play mode, and it's going to be down a distance situation. Both defenses, again, are uh, 12. So it's going to be second down and 10 for Georgia as we jump into play-by-play -play mode ball on the Michigan 43-yard line. And scoring opportunity here for the Bulldogs. And here we go. So six and six is going to be second down and 10. That's going to be a pass call, short pass play. And the uh, trench roll, not very good for uh, Georgia in terms of um, a favorable result. It's going to be minus three. So this is going to come off of the uh, Michigan defense column. Minus three roll of seven, and that's going to be a one-yard gain. So it's going to bring up a third nine for Georgia. Third and nine from the Michigan 42-yard line. And that's going to be favorable. Uh, 16 will be a favorable uh, call there. But eight is going to be a long pass attempt. Michigan is expecting that. So 16 would normally be a plus two. It's going to be a plus one with the adjustment because Michigan is expecting the long pass. So plus one column long pass for Georgia. And that is going to be an incomplete throw. So Georgia now with a fourth down on their first drive, a fourth and nine from the Michigan 42. And they're going to go ahead and punt. Uh, Georgia's punting is an A. And Michigan's punt return team is a C. All right, so one on the punt, and that is going to be into the end zone, a touchback. So Michigan's going to start on their uh, 25 as well. All right, so first and 10 for the Wolverines as they are ready to jump into their simulated drive portion. And again, both teams get 11 drives in this game. Here we go. And Wolverines 0-2 and that Georgia defense living up to the hype. That's going to be a punt result. So a roll of seven there. It's going to be five plays, 18 yards, and Michigan's going to have to bring in the punt team. So both defenses stiff early on in this one. As we go to the uh, stadium, and we're joined by our good friend Matt, Steeler fan 1933, and Brock Riblet. And again, guys, if you did catch the beginning, uh, some tweet, uh, and I'm using also a new score sheet that now distributes all the stats for simulated portions of the drive, which I'm very excited about. Going to make it a lot easier to uh, manage the game. And that was the one thing that I was struggling to get a good handle on, but that's taken care of now. All right, Michigan's going to punt. And Michigan also a punting uh, punt game is an A, and Georgia's punt return is a C. All right, so seven on an A, that's going to be a 45-yard punt. All the way down to the 13-yard line and return of four. So punt return four C, that's going to be a four-yard return, and Georgia take over for their second possession on the 17-yard line. And again, our pre-play of the 19 and 21 college football playoffs. All right, Georgia had a good drive their first time, ended up stalling. Let's see if they can do it again. And 66, that is going to be another potentially successful drive. 17 on the roll. And 17 is going to be seven plays, 45 yards.
And that is going to be all the way down to the uh, Michigan 38 yard line where we jump into play by play mode for the Bulldogs. And a roll of eight, once again, is going to be a second down and 10. We're down in distance situation. Let's see if George can have a little bit more success this time. And no, it's going to be a minus three. This is going to be a run call. And Michigan's run defense coming up early in this one, grounding the Georgia rushing attack. Both teams, again, very potent rushing attacks. So a two, and that is going to be a one-yard gain for Georgia. It's going to bring up another third down and nine. So from the 37, and Georgia is going to try and catch Michigan off guard, and they call a draw play. 61, though, not a very favorable roll. Be a minus two, and that changes to a minus one because it catches Michigan off guard. So minus one against Michigan's run defense roll of six. That's only going to be a three-yard gain. And that is going to bring up a fourth and six from the 34. So a uh, decision time here for Georgia and Kirby Smart. The uh, Bulldogs, this would be a 51-yard field goal, and their maximum is only 46, unfortunately. So they're actually going to have to go for it here. Fourth down and six, and they're going to gamble early in this one. And the play call, one on fourth and six, and that's going to be another run play, 42. And again, they catch a Michigan off drive, 42 on the trench control, boosted from a zero to a plus one. So it comes off of Georgia's card. And two, that's going to be a five-yard gain and just short. And scrambling there is uh, Stetson Bennett, and he's going to get tackled a yard short of the line to gain. So gutsy call there, but unfortunately, the Bulldogs are stifled, and Michigan's going to take over as they're stopped on downs as we're moving to the uh, – that's actually going to be – let's see. Both teams get five drives in this quarter, so we're uh, past the midway point of the first quarter as Michigan takes over on their own 29 yard line. And let's see if they can put together a drive this time. Forced to punt their first time with the ball, the Wolverines. Up as Harbaugh patrols the sidelines in his trademark uh, khakis. Yes, Matt, these are uh, rated based on the 2021 season to date and obviously not complete for either team, but uh, a pretty good, um, Pretty good overview through the regular season. All right, and Michigan, they're actually going to have to punt again. So this time they're going to go four plays and 11 yards. And Georgia's vaunted defense, again, living up to the billing. So they are stopped at their own 40. And this will be the final drive of the first quarter as the punt team comes in. And three, that's going to be a 42-yard punt. It's going to go down to the 18 and on the return roll of seven punt return C and that's going to be no return and Georgia takes over on their own 18. Uh, the second time out of three possessions, they've been forced to start inside their 20. So let's see if they can uh, put something together. Georgia definitely the better of the two on offense thus far and 63. They're going to have yet another successful drive. Uh, roll of 12 on the dry plot, and that's a huge 10-play, 72-yard drive. And that's going to take them all the way down to the Michigan 10, and 6 on the down and distance is going to be second down and 12. Uh, well, it can't be second down and 12 in that scenario, so that's going to be another second and 10 for the Bulldogs. Uh, very good position now, though, at least for a field goal. As let's see what Kirby Smart has up his sleeve, and he is going to call a long pass. And again, inside the 25, obviously, or inside on the 10, nobody's going to call a long pass, but I go with that call. Again, it simulates how compressed the uh, coverage is going to be inside the red zone. 
All right, so it's going to be a long pass attempt roll of 63. That does not bode well for the uh, Bulldogs. And roll of six on the long pass, uh, yeah, long pass chart minus three. Actually, a 14-yard gain. So that's going to be a touchdown, but a possible interception. And Stetson Bennett, if you can see here, he has an interception of one to 14. And that is going to be a pick unless Michigan changes that. And their result is a minus two, takes it to a 12, and tipped and caught for the touchdown. So Georgia strikes Stetson Bennett with a 10-yard scoring strike as they uh, take the early lead. And we'll roll to see who uh, gets credit for the touchdown. Uh, 18, that is one thing you still do have to do. So 18, and that is going to go to Cook. And Stetson Bennett with the uh, touchdown pass. So Georgia now. With the lead in this one, extra point, and that is the end of the first quarter, too. Extra point, 0 to 97. It's up and good. So Georgia closes out the first quarter with a touchdown drive, and they take the lead to 0 over the Michigan Wolverines here in our uh, first semifinal college football playoff pre play. And Georgia's going to kick off. Georgia's kickoff team is a. Uh, B, Michigan's kickoff return is a D, not very good. And three, that's going to be a touchback. So the Wolverines take over on their own 25-yard line as we start the second quarter. And Michigan so far has been throttled. They've had to punt twice. So simulate a drive, and finally, they're going to get a successful drive going against the Georgia defense. And roll of 10 on the simulated drive chart. It's going to be a five-play, 36-yard drive. And that gets it down to the uh, Georgia 39-yard line. Roll of five on the down and distance. And that's going to bring up a third and seven, though, for the Wolverines there. Uh, one thing that I am still undecided on is the down and distance. Uh, you know, I, I like the element it adds in terms of uh, uncertainty at the end of the drive, but I am thinking about scrapping that and just always going first and 10. You know, again, I think more testing is due there. And it's a little more severe when, when both teams have good defenses as well, which again, I guess adds some realism. So that's still one thing up in the air, but Michigan now facing a third down and seven. And not good at all for that is going to be a uh, short pass call for the Wolverines. So good call there. But 66 is going to be a minus three. And minus three roll of four coming off of Georgia's defensive card is going to be an incomplete pass. So Michigan... Uh, fourth down and seven from the 39 and Harbaugh is not going to gamble. He's going to bring the punt team out and try and pin Georgia deep and make him drive the field. The call will probably be questioned, but uh, again, probably for the better and Michigan, that's a 39 yard punt. And we're going to say that goes down to the goal line. And that is just, we're going to do, uh, Odd even to see if it bounces in or stops there. Now, if it does, uh, if it does die at the one, Georgia's punt return again is a C. So roll of six, that would be a fair catch. We're just going to say no return. So odd, it's dead at the one, even it bounces into the end zone, and that is indeed into the end zone. Georgia's going to take over after the touchback as we are in the second quarter. The Bulldogs lead at seven to zero. And Stetson Bennett brings the Bulldogs back out with their uh, talented tailback, White, and also a dual fair. They have two-headed backfield. Cook is back there as well. So Georgia's had three uh, successful drives early. Let's see if they can do it again. 91 
Uh, 91 is going to be a potential fumble. So fumble yards and Georgia, first of all, both teams take care of the ball pretty well in terms of fumbles. Georgia's fumble rating is one to five and Michigan, uh, they're going to adjust, no adjustment apply to that. So Georgia, that is going to be a fumble they successfully recover and roll of 10 on the fumble yards chart. And, and they're going to get to three plays for five yards and they're going to be forced to kick it away. So Georgia, their second punt of the day now as both defenses. Once again, living up to the hype and eight. That is going to be a 39 yard punt for the Bulldogs. So that uh, touches down on the Michigan 11 and Michigan's punt return is a C roll of six and that is going to be a fair catch. So Michigan takes over at their own 11. Field position, the story early in this one is both teams doing a good job of pinning the other deep. So Michigan now looking to uh, have another successful drive. And 38, and that is indeed going to be a successful drive. So from the 11-yard uh, line. And roll of four on the drive chart. And that's going to be seven plays, 60 yards for the Wolverine. So that's going to take them down to the Georgia 29 and down in distance six. And that is going to be a second down and 12 from there. All right, Michigan looking to knot this up and seven. Second down is going to be a short pass. And 32, a semi-favorable result for the uh, Wolverines. That's going to be actually um, a zero. So six on the zero column, short pass, and that's going to be an eight-yard gain. So that's going to make it a third and four is McNamara, a strike. So third and four, the playbook is over for the Wolverines. McNamara brings the troops up to the line. And third down and four and six, that's going to be another short pass call, 53 on the uh, control. And that's going to be minus two, unfortunately, means it comes off of Georgia's defensive column. And short pass minus two, but that's going to be a four-yard gain. So just getting the first down. And again, another uh, optional rule, we are going to, uh, actually, uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to play this. So we'll play that out and uh, give the Wolverines a first down. So first and 10 now on the Georgia 25-yard line. And Michigan has something going here. And they're just happy they have a first down, seven. And McNamara is back to pass again, 13. That's going to be a plus three for the Wolverines. So seven plus three, and that's going to be a seven yard gain sets up a very manageable second down and three for the Wolverines down to the Georgia 18. And McNamara has got the offense clicking. And I'm going to move this over so I can put the play card up. There we go. Just so you can see the team card. All right. All right. So Michigan now second down and three. Again, guys, if you're liking this uh, pre-play, please hit that like button. Once again, the upcoming uh, release, Glory Days College Football, set to be released in the spring, uh, early spring of 2022. All right, second down to three and favorable running situation for the Wolverines. And that is indeed what happens. We have a run call and 34 on the line control result is going to be uh, a zero. So zero and a roll of one. 
and that is going to be a four yard gain. And again, here um, you use the yardage adjustment on the zero column. So the ball carrier there, five is going to be a uh, Haskins. He has no adjustment, so it's going to stick as a four yard gain. It's going to be another first down, low down to the first or down to the 18, first and 10 for Michigan. And Harbaugh sends in the power package, and it looks like it was all a psych. They're going to go play action pass here. And 11, that's going to be a plus three, roll of four, short pass. And 11 is the result. And McNamara threads the needle down to the three-yard line. He has now completed his last three passes. And Michigan now has a first and goal from the three. Looking to tie this up with an extended drive here against the Bulldogs after being forced to punt three times. And they stick with what's working. Another pass call, short pass. Uh, 41, though, that's going to be a minus, actually going to be a zero, so coming off of Michigan's card still. Short pass two, and that's going to be a touchdown strike, and the recipient of that is going to be uh, Sane Restell. Hopefully I said that name correctly. That's an unusual name. So Michigan now with a chance to tie this up. All right, and Michigan, a very, very good place kicker. So 0 to 97, extra points good. 94, it uh, close to the far upright, but finds its way through. And we are all tied up in this semifinal here in the second quarter. It is Michigan Wolverine 7, Georgia Bulldogs 7. And each team has one drive left to halftime. Here we go. Michigan kicks off. That's going to be a touchback. Georgia starts their final drive of the first half on the 25, and that is the best field position they've had to date. So simulated drive, and again, we need 33 or better, and 70. Georgia's had some good rolls on the drive, and that is going to be another successful one, 19 on the drive chart. It's going to be six plays for 40 yards. So Georgia is uh, chewing up the yards as they are down to the Michigan 35. Unfortunately, just one touchdown to show for it thus far. And eight, that is going to be that dreaded second down and 10 result again with Michigan's staunch defense. Stetson Bennett up to the line of scrimmage. And our play call on second down is going to be a run call, 25. And 25 is going to be a plus one for the Bulldogs. Plus one roll of six, that's going to be a five-yard gain. So it sets up a third down and five, a very manageable down and distance situation. And it keeps uh, – the, the key thing here is it opens the playbook, so Michigan will not have an advantage if they do call a long pass. All right, third and five, it's going to be a short pass call. 53 on the line control chart is going to be a minus two, so coming off the Wolverines card – Minus two, short pass, roll four, and that is going to be seven-yard gain, but we're going to have a potential sack, and Stetson Bennett, his sack rating is uh, very good. It's only one to four, and Michigan, their adjustment is a minus one, so Bennett able to step up into the pocket, avoid trouble, and that's going to be a seven-yard completion, so Georgia Bulldogs convert first down and 10 on the Michigan 23 yard line now. And as they look to regain the lead, that's going to be a run call 16 and 16 is going to be a plus two result seven. No big plays yet for either team, but that's going to be a nice nine yard run. Second down and one as it gets it down to the 14 yard line. All right, playbook open for the Bulldogs, and it is going to be another run call, 36, and 36 is going to be a zero. And ball carrier on that, 17, is going to be Milton, no adjustment there. So roll of six, zero, it's going to be a four-yard gain, and we have a first and goal for the Bulldogs at the 10. So after um, 
very early portion of the game where both defenses were rising up the challenge. The offense is now getting going here late in the second quarter. And first down six, that's going to be a run call 62. Unfortunately, that is going to be a minus three coming off of Michigan's card. And roll of eight minus three, and that is going to be a stuff. All right, so a stuff for the Wolverines. And going to Georgia's stuff chart, we'll roll the 1D10. And roll of six, and that is going to be a terrible stuff in eight yachts. So all the way back, uh, chaos in the backfield. It's going to make it second down and 18 from the 18. Let's see if Georgia plays it safe, and they're actually going to play it safe. They run the ball 41, and 41 is going to be zero. And a nine, and that is going to be a plus one yard adjustment to the result. So seven, and that's going to be a four-yard gain. Unfortunately, brings up a third and goal from the 14. So third down, and that is going to be uh, Kirby Smart playing it safe, and that's going to be a draw call, 65, but Michigan going to be a minus two. Their defense – had their alerts up on that. And that's going to be another stuff. So the Wolverine defense makes Georgia pay for their Tom Fleury. That's going to be another three-yard loss. So Michigan's defense rising up big here inside the red zone. Georgia's going to have to settle for a field goal. It's going to be a 34-yard attempt. And Georgia, uh, 34, it's 0 to 75. And Michigan's block is 96 to 99. And kick is up and good. So Georgia gets a field goal. And on their last drive of the first half, they take a 10 to 7 lead. And they're going to kick off Michigan now. will have one last drive. And we will be into halftime. All right, Georgia, and it's going to be a touchback. So Michigan starts the final drive of the first half on the 25-yard line. Let's see if they're going to have a successful drive. 63, they do. Finally, uh, both teams, as I said, getting it in gear a little bit here. It's going to be a seven-play, 44-yard drive. And 69, that is going to be down to the uh, Georgia 31-yard line. Down a distance situation, seven. So it's going to be a first and 10 favorable for the Wolverines. And we'll see if McNamara can give the Wolverines a lead. They have not led in this game yet. 10-7, Bulldogs up. And eight, it's going to be a short pass attempt as the passing game has been clicking very well for Michigan. 42 going to be a zero and zero one, and that's going to be incomplete and a possible sack. All right, so McNamara, his sack rating is one to three. Both teams protect their quarterbacks very well. Uh, Georgia, plus one, but that's not going to get it done, so that will fall incomplete. And second down and 10 for the Wolverines. McNamara brings him up, another short pass attempt, 33, and that's going to be uh, plus one for the Wolverines. So seven, and that's a nine-yard strike by McNamara. Going to make it a third down and one, and third from the 22. And third and one, and Michigan's going to call play action and go deep, and they're going to get the advantage here. 52 would have been a minus one. That makes it a zero because they caught Georgia by surprise. So zero, nine, long pass, and misfire at the back of the end zone, incomplete. Brings up a fourth and one, and Harbaugh, he is, it's the playoffs. He's got a gamble. He's going to leave the offense on the fifth and one from the 22. They're going to go for it. And fourth and one, six, and it is going to be a run call. Uh, 16, that is going to be a plus two, and Georgia's defense is ready, so it will only be a plus one, but a very favorable result for the Wolverines. 
plus one roll of six. And that's going to be a tough three yard run. And the gamble pays off for uh, Khaki Jim as they have a first down now on the 19 yard line. So Michigan trying to pound this in before the end of the half. That's going to be a run play at 16 for the Wolverines. And that'll be a plus two. Plus two roll of four, and that's a six-yard gain. So that brings up a second down and four from the 13. Second four, playbook is open. Will Harbaugh throw it? Nope, he's sticking to the ground. And 24, once again, that's going to be a, another plus two result. So plus two roll of two, and that's a five-yard gain. So Michigan now has a first and goal down at the eight-yard line. And the Wolverines looking to take the lead here before the half. And play call. That is going to play action. And McNamara is going for the end zone here. 22 and 22 plus one long pass nine. And 22 plus one. And that's going to be a big play. Uh, that'll be irrelevant. That's going to get in for the touchdown just for the heck of it. It's a 16. I'm sorry. Big play pass is a 20. It would have been a 29 yarder. So that's going to be an eight yard touchdown strike. And if of that a uh, roll of 20, and that is going to go to uh, Haskins out of the backfield. So Michigan, as the first half come, or comes to a close, has taken the lead. Extra point is up and good. And we head to the break. It is the Wolverines 14 and the Bulldogs 10. All right. So we are ready now to uh, start the second half. And Michigan will get the second half kickoff. So Michigan's D, uh, offense finally getting it going late in the first half, and we'll do a quick update on the first half stats, not individual players, but just overall before we start the uh, second half kickoff. McNamara actually played very well, at least in play-by-play -play mode. He was uh, 7 for 10 with a couple of touchdowns. On the other side, Stetson Bennett, 2 for 3 in play-by-play -play mode. All right, so here are our first half statistics. Um, despite the fact that both teams have great defenses, the offense has really got it going in the second quarter. Uh, Georgia, 43 plays for 238 yards, and Michigan, 41 for 233. So we are ready to go with the second half. Again, Michigan receiving the kick, and kicks away eight, and eight on column A. That's going to go down to the goal line, so Michigan's going to get a chance to return this. Michigan's kick return is horrible. They are only a D and roll of two, 16-yard return. So Michigan starts their first possession of the second half on their own 16. Let's see if they can continue after uh, three consecutive punts. They went on two touchdown drives to end the first half, and they're going to keep it going. 61 will be a successful drive. And seven, that's going to be seven plays, 53 yards for the Wolverines. And they're going to be down to the Georgia 31-yard line. Roll of five on down and distance. And down and distance, it's going to be a third and seven from there, however. So Georgia's defense looking to make a big play and force a field goal here. Third and seven, and Michigan's going to try and catch Georgia napping, but 66, that's only going to make it a minus two, and roll of seven, and the vaunted Georgia run defense. It's going to be a stop, and it makes it a fourth and five from the 29-yard line. 
So I think here, uh, Michigan is going to try a field goal. They do have a uh, All-American field goal kicker. This will be a 46-yarder. And that is up and good. So Michigan, their first drive of the second half ends in a field goal, and they extend their lead now to 17 to 10. And Georgia set to receive their first possession of the second half. Here we go. And kicks away. That's down to the goal line as well. Georgia, a C on kick returns. And C8, it's going to be a 22-yard return. That's where the Bulldogs will start their first possession of the second half on their own 22. And let's see if they can uh, replicate Michigan's success. And 34, and that is barely a successful drive. All right, and roll of 11 on the drive chart, and that's going to be... Four plays, 31 yards for the Bulldogs. So they're down to the Michigan 47, down in distance situation, roll of seven on the 2D6. So it's going to be first and 10 from the Bull, or for the Bulldogs from there. And Stetson Bennett looks to get them back into the thick of this at the A run call, 41. And 41, that is going to be from the zero call, 14 and no boost to the uh, run there. So whatever is on the chart, three, and that's going to be a two-yard gain, second down and eight from the 25. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be the 35, second and eight from the 35. And it brings the team up, and he is going to go deep, 15, and a favorable result. That's going to be plus two for Georgia on the deep pass attempt. And six, and that is a 25-yard strike all the way down to the 10-yard line. It's going to be first and goal for the Bulldogs. So Stetson Bennett comes up big on that throw right underneath the safety, so splitting the zone. As Michigan was employing a two deep coverage, it's going to be first and goal from the 10. All right, and seven, it's going to be a short pass attempt, 32, and that's going to be off the zero column, roll of one. And that is going to be a seven yard completion. So down to the three yard line, second and goal from the three. And thinking from here, Georgia will probably try and run it in. Am I correct? Yes, they are going to run. 55, though, Michigan stacking the box, and that's going to be 0-2. So this comes off of Michigan's card. Roll of six and three and a potential fumble. So that will be a touchdown if he does not fumble. And the roll of 11. Again, both teams very good at taking care of the ball. So one to five, and Michigan has no adjustment, and that is going to be a touchdown. So we will see who the ball carrier was on that, 17, and that's going to be Milton with the touchdown run, three yards. Uh, one sec here. Okay. All right, Milton TD. All right, Georgia now with a chance to tie this. So field goal team is on for the extra point. Kick is up and good, and we are all tied. Here approaching the, uh, well, actually still early in the third quarter. It is 17 apiece in our uh, first round championship semifinal. And George is set to kick it off, and that's going to be a touchback. So Michigan will start on their own 25. And we'll see if the Wolverines can pull off a successful drive. Here we go. 
and 86, 86, and that's going to be a big play pass too. So McNamara looking for the big strike and roll of two. I'm sorry, roll of six on the big play chart and roll of six, big play pass two. And whoops, down here. And that's a touchdown. Unbelievable. There you see it right here. Michigan, big play pass two, touchdown. So that is going to be a 75 yard touchdown strike. And Georgia's defense, really, now, they started off so well in the first half. And the recipient of that is going to be Johnson. All right, so I'm going to waste no time, and extra points have been good. So big play, 75 yards, and Michigan, their fourth consecutive scoring drive, and that propels them into a 24-17 to 17 lead here halfway through the third quarter. George is going to have to answer again. So unexpected fireworks as uh, both defenses started strong, but they're uh, both coming apart a little bit here. That's going to be a touchback, Georgia. All right, so from their own 25, Georgia has only had to punt twice so far in this game. They also had a turnover on downs and 21. Michigan's defense is going to come up big here and force the punt. Roll of nine, and that is going to be a three and out, zero yards. So absolutely not what Georgia needed as the punt team steps onto the field. And Georgia's punt team, again, is an A-9, and that is going to be a 34-yard or potential block. 9-7, and that is within Michigan's block range. It is blocked, and we roll blocks come off the um, – Fumble return chart here, so we will roll for that first of all. And six. All right, so that will be blocked and recovered five yards behind the line of scrimmage. So Michigan now is going to take over on the 20-yard line. And they have a first and 10 there, and this could be the dagger if the Wolverines can uh, – yeah, you know, still there's still time left, so it could be a a big hill for George to overcome, though, as Wolverines get a block punt and starting at the Georgia twenty now. So fortunes have definitely shifted in this game. We go straight into uh, play by play mode, Michigan, and Georgia's defense looking to come up big, sixty five, and it is a run call. They're going to get the. Uh, Favorable result here, and that is going to be a much-needed stuff for the uh, Georgia Bulldogs. And going to the stuff chart, a two, and that's minus three for the Wolverines. So second down and 13 now back from the 23, and the defense definitely has to hold Michigan to a field goal here or better yet get a turnover. And getting good roll, second down, that is going to be a long pass attempt, but 56. Uh, 56, that's going to be a minus two. And roll of six, minus two for the Bulldogs. And that is the one roll they did not want. That's an 11-yard strike. So that's going to bring up a third and two for 12. And McNamara has been just stellar in this game for the Wolverines. Third and two, Georgia stacking the box. 
And four, it is indeed going to be a run and the Bulldogs ready for it. 51, it's going to be minus two with the uh, readiness adjustment. So minus two, roll of four, and that's going to be a stuff for Georgia. So the Georgia Bulldogs come through here on third and short and seven on the stuff chart. And that is going to be stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So no gain. And fourth down, and Harbaugh is going to send the field goal unit on, and this is going to be a 29-yarder. So this is pretty much automatic as Michigan. A kick is up and good. So the Wolverines extend their lead to 27 to 17, and this will be our final possession of the third quarter as Georgia set to receive the kickoff. And this I think would be a little bit of an upset here as that's going to be a touchback. So Georgia starts on their own 25, and they need a big drive here as Stetson Bennett brings the offense out onto the field. And again, guys, this is a great semifinal game. Please uh, show your appreciation by hammering that like button as Georgia, 94 on the potential drive chart, and that's going to be a possible interception, and 18. Bennett is a... Uh, I got the wrong team out here. Bennett is actually a 1 to 14 on the interception, and Michigan's adjustment on the interception, fortunately for him, is a minus two. So 18 will go to the yardage chart. And that is going to be three plays, nine yards, and dropped interception, but they're going to have to punt. So it's uh, Michigan's defense, which has been the story of this game, especially in the second quarter and second half. And Georgia, oh, my goodness, another potential block punt, but 91, fortunately for them, that is outside of Michigan's range. So that will be a 34-yard uh, punt. So fielded at the 32 for the Wolverines and a punt return of C for Michigan, roll of one. And that is going to be a fair catch. So Michigan takes over on their own 32-yard line and Harbaugh, whatever adjustments he made at halftime are paying off as we head to the fourth quarter. It is Michigan 27 Georgia 17 and the Georgia defense tiring in this game. They need a stop here. Let's see if Michigan can get a drive off and 54. They do again. So 18 on the drive chart and from the 32, it's going to be four plays, 30 yards. So down to the 38-yard uh, line, and I picked up the dice before I got the down and distance. Down and distance is going to be 8, second down and 10. So this has been all about McNamara here in the second half, and 4, that's going to be a run call on second and 10. 25 and 25 for the uh, Wolverines is going to be a plus 1. And that's going to be a seven-yard gain. So second or third down and three from the 31-yard line as Michigan. Favorable situation. Playbook is open. And six, that is going to be a third down and three. Going to be a short pass attempt, 44. And doubles is a potential penalty. 15 will not be a penalty. Probably missed a couple of those in this game. It's been a little bit since I've uh, put this on the channel. All right, so 44 and 44 for uh, Michigan on the short pass. 
is going to be a minus one. So that comes off of the uh, Georgia card and minus one roll of zero short pass. That is going to be an eight yard completion, but a potential sack and 15. Again, both teams protect their quarterback well. And that will indeed be an eight yard gain. So down to the 23 yard line, McNamara again, uh, showing that he's Houdini back there. Slithers out of trouble, and it's first and 10 for the Wolverines on the verge of a mild upset here. Nine, and McNamara is going to take a shot at the end zone on first and 10. 35, and 35 on the pass play is going to be zero. Long pass roll of seven. And that's going to be a potential pick, two. And McNamara Interception one to eight. The Georgia adjustment is plus two. And Georgia's defense comes up big, and that's going to be an interception. And seven there. That is going to go be picked off 16 yards that field. So that's going to be picked off at the seven yard line. And we're going to do the interception return. An interception return, a huge, huge defensive play for the Bulldogs. And they 100% needed that to stay in the game. So our interception return off this chart by right here. And it's going to be a three and a three. And it's going to be a six-yard return. So out to the 13 is where the Bulldogs take over. Their first possession of the fourth quarter. And Georgia, they're going to have a successful drive again. Their offense has been struggling mightily uh, the last couple of possessions, but this time 73 is going to be a successful drive. And roll of 14 on the drive chart. That's going to be six plays, 38 yards for the simulated portion. So they are down at the Michigan 49-yard line. Uh, not a very favorable down and distance situation, however. It's going to be, uh, I guess it could have been worse, uh, going to be second down and eight. So second and eight from Michigan 49, Stetson Bennett. Has the game resting on his shoulders right now. That's going to be a short pass call. And 43 is going to be uh, minus one. So coming off of Michigan's card. And Michigan's defense roll of five is going to be a five-yard gain. So down to the 44. And that brings up a third down and three. And again, the playbook is open. Georgia just as easily run for this as throw and seven is going to be a short pass attempt 41 uh, 41 again coming off michigan's card minus one and that's tip so we'll roll it again eight and eight minus one that's going to be a seven yard completion so a uh, clutch strike by Stetson Bennett. That gets it down to the 37, and that's going to be a first and 10 for the Bulldogs. And Georgia in business now looking to pull within a field goal at best here. And six, it's going to be a run call, 42. Uh, 42, that's going to be a zero column, and there's going to be an adjustment of one yard there. So zero column nine, there'll be a five yard gain down to the 32 yard line, second down and five for the Bulldogs. And over the play call and they are sticking to the ground and 14, that is going to be a plus three and roll of three plus three. That's going to be a nine yard jaunt. So down to the 23 yard line, another first down Georgia playing smash mouth football here and they are now in optimum field position inside the red zone and sticking to what they do best possible penalty and 12 will not be a penalty. So 22 is going to be a plus one for the Bulldogs plus one roll of one just missed a big play opportunity there. Big plays have been a little scar uh, scarce in this game, but that's still a nice eight yard carry. So Michigan's front 
half starting to fatigue. Second and two for the Bulldogs, and playbook is open, but they elect to play it safe and stick to the ground game. And zero column, no adjustment roll of three, and that's going to be a two-yard gain. That's enough for the first down, however. So first down at the Michigan 13-yard line for Georgia. Six, and the Bulldogs stay on the ground, coming out of column one again. Four, and a big play, one for the Georgia Bulldogs on the plus three column, and this could be a touchdown jaunt. Big play result, one, 13-yard gain and a touchdown run. And on the carry there is White. So Georgia coming out and pounding it on the ground as White with the touchdown. And they have a chance to pull within three now. So excellent drive for the Bulldogs. Going 62 yards and extra point attempt is 96. Barely good. That ticks off the uh, left upright, but finds its way through. And we are... Coming up on the midway point of the fourth quarter, it is 27 to 24. And the maize and blue hold a three-point lead as George is set to kick it off. And we are heading for what looks like it might be a pretty exciting finish. And six, that's going to be another touchback. So Michigan, they'll have one possession left after this. So they want to make the most and hopefully get another Scoring opportunity and 30. No, Georgia's defense comes up big. That's going to be a stop. So four, and that's going to be only plays and 12 yards for the Wolverines, and they're going to have to punt. So Georgia's defense, an interception last drive and forces the punt here, and Georgia's going to be in good shape. And eight on the punt is going to be a 39-yard kick. Down to the 24-yard line, and three on the return. Georgia, again, is a C punt return team. So three C, and that's going to be a fair catch. So Georgia takes over on their own 24, and Georgia's going to have one more possession after this as well. So it's crunch time. Three possessions left in this game. Georgia needs to pull off a drive here, 38, and they barely have a successful drive. 13, and 13 is going to be a great drive. Seven plays, 53 yards. And all the way down to the uh, Michigan 23-yard line, so they're in a great uh, – Great position here. It's going to be third and six, however, not a very good down and distance situation for the Bulldogs. So Stetson Bennett needs to convert here and third and six, and they're actually going to call a run play again. And they catch Michigan off guard. Is it going to be enough, though? 41. Normally it would be a uh, zero. That gets a plus one. And plus one on the one column. And that's going to be a seven-yard gain for the Bulldogs. And it pays off as that's going to be a first down down to the 16-yard line. So Georgia's run game in the second half has just come alive. And it's carrying them right now. As if to tie the game, or better yet, go ahead. Going to be another run play. Stick to what is working. 56, though. That's going to be minus two coming off of Michigan's column. And Michigan's run defense roll of three minus two. That's going to be a one-yard gain, second down and nine. Definitely no panic, though, as Georgia is in field goal range. And wouldn't it be something if this game went to overtime? Georgia's second nine. They're going to call another run play, 16, and 16 is going to be a plus two. Uh, plus two roll of eight. That's a five-yard gain. So going to be third and four from the 10 now for the Bulldogs. Be smart, sends in the play. Third and four, five is going to be a short pass attempt, 24. And that's going to be plus one roll of seven. And plus one roll of seven. And that is a touchdown strike by Stetson Bennett. 
and Georgia. Oh, hold on, I've screwed this up. Ah, uh, sorry, I screwed up my score sheet. But no worries. All right, we got it squared away now. Stetson Bennett has been excellent here in the second half. And the recipient of that touchdown past 10 is going to be Burton. So Burton with the TD and the extra point team comes on to the field. Georgia, they were on the ropes and looked like on their way out, but they have fought back against the Wolverines. Second touchdown of the quarter, and they have kept Michigan at bay. So Georgia now has jumped out to a 30-27 to 27 lead, and this is going to be it for Michigan. So it comes down to this, one drive, and if Georgia gets a stop here, they're just going to be able to run out the clock. And the Bulldogs need a nice kickoff here. See if they can pin Michigan deep, and that is indeed going to be a touchback. So Michigan comes out and starts on their own 25. So 33 or better, and that is going to be a stop roll. Obviously, Michigan's going to go for it on fourth down. So first of all, we're going to see how many yards they do get. And 16 on the drive chart. It's going to be five plays, 14 yards. So up to the 39-yard line, it's going to be fourth down and – down and distance situation. It's going to be fourth and eight. So ball game on the line for the Wolverines. Fourth and eight, and this is going to do it. And let's see what we have here. Fourth down and eight. It's going to be a short pass attempt. 21, very favorable for the Wolverines. And 21 on the pass attempt is... Going to come off of column two, short pass and a roll of nine. And that's going to be a big play one for the Wolverines. So they are still alive in this. Let's see what the result is there. Wow, huge play by McNamara and eight. And of, of all times, it looks like a Georgia defensive back went for the uh, interception, missed it, and eight. Big play one on the pass. And I'll just show you, that is a touchdown, unbelievable touchdown, 61 yards, wow. And the uh, recipient of that touchdown strike is uh, Sainer still, that is his second touchdown pass of the game, crazy, unbelievable. And the Georgia defense is in a state of shell shock here as the extra point is good. And Michigan scores for the first time in the fourth quarter. And they have gone up now 34 to 31. And Georgia, this is their last chance. So let's see if they can recreate that uh, Wolverine magic. That's also going to be a touchback. Fourth down and eight, McNamara comes up with a big play, a 61-yard touchdown strike. Unbelievable. Wolverines leading Georgia 34-31, to 31. and so much for the vaunted defense. 36, that's going to be a successful drive, though. So Georgia not dead yet, a roll of 19 on the drive chart, and that's going to be six plays, 40 yards. So Georgia is going to have a second down and 10 from the Michigan 35-yard line. And all they need is a field goal here to tie. So we 
He couldn't hit overtime. Let's see what Stetson Bennett can do. Second down and 10. And eight on second and 10 is going to be a short pass attempt, 41. Will be a zero, a zero roll of one. That's a seven-yard gain. So down to the 28-yard line, and that's going to bring up a third and three. Georgia needs a big play now, third and three to five. It's going to be another short pass attempt. 51, though, that's going to come off the Michigan card. Roll of four on the short pass, minus one, and that's still going to be an eight-yard gain. So Michigan had a fielder in position, but Georgia now, first and 10 at the 20-yard line, and you got to think Kirby Smart now, thinking about going for the win. It's going to be a run call, 43. And 43 will be a zero and a roll of eight. It's going to be a plus one to the result. So four, and it's going to be a six-yard run, but a possible fumble down to the 14. And again, eight. Both teams, uh, as mentioned, take care of the ball. Georgia one to five. So Michigan, they need a modifier, and they do not. So down to the 14, going to be second down and four. Georgia dodges, dodges a bullet there. That would have been the ball game if they lost that. Three on second down, going to be another run play, 42. Again, coming from the zero column, 15. This time there will be uh, no adjustment. So nine in the zero column, that's going to be a four-yard gain. That's going to be first and goal for the Bulldogs at the 10. So Michigan's defense needs a big play here. Georgia sticking on the ground. A going to be another zero and run, 16, and no adjustment, roll of two. And that's going to be an eight-yard gain down to the two-yard line, second and two. Georgia is poised to finish this. In style with a game-ending touchdown. Here we go. And 61, or I'm sorry, 44 possible penalty, no penalty. So six on second down, and it is going to be a short pass attempt, 44. And 44 will be minus one coming off of Michigan's card, a roll of one on the short pass, incomplete. So a big play in the end zone, and that makes it third down and goal from the two. And this is the ball game. Uh, Kirby Smart undoubtedly will kick a field goal here if they don't convert. Uh, third and two, roll of six, and it's going to be a run play. Michigan is ready for it. Uh, 31 would normally be a Plus one, going to be a zero instead, but that does not bode well for the Wolverines. And 12, we are going to have a plus one adjustment to the result. All game is over. That is a two, but the plus one makes it a three and a touchdown run for the Wolverines. I'm sorry, the Bulldogs. This game is over, and the ball carrier on that is going to be McIntosh. So McIntosh. Game-winning touchdown as Georgia has scored 21 points here in the fourth quarter. Unbelievable finish by the Bulldogs. And, and up and good. So 38 to 34 and Michigan, they're going to get a chance for a Hail Mary. However, that is the rule. Close game late. So the kickoff, that's going to be a touchback, Michigan on the 25. And Michigan is going to get one D6 plays left, so they have two plays. Two-minute offense, here we go. All right, two-minute offense, and one is going to be – what the hell are they doing? Uh, run play, unbelievable. Uh, it's going to be a defensive penalty, though, doubles, and 19 will be a defensive penalty on the Bulldogs. 
So it really is a good game. I mean, it's been a very fun game, Matt. See what the penalty is. And I think they're going to take that regardless because it gives them another shot. But they're only going to have one play to do it. Uh, penalty is going to be uh, defensive penalty. At 15 is going to be defensive holding 10 yards. So at the 35, one play left. McIntosh is going to have to give it a heave. Um, the Hail Mary chart. So 65 yards, there is no play here that will get it into the end zone, unfortunately, for the Bulldogs. But let's see what they do. All right, so we're going to roll uh, 1d20 for the yardage and, of course, 2d10. That's going to be caught. <laughs> this game is not going away yet. Steen, uh, that's 50 yards. It's going to be caught, but that is going to die at the 15 as the clock runs out. That is your ball game. So one last 50-yard pass, and the offense is – Really, two uh, strong defensive teams, and both teams' defense started strong, but uh, they both started to fade a little bit in the second half, though Georgia's came up with a play of the game, an interception, which thwarted a Michigan scoring drive. All right, so let's uh, wrap this up and get our final stats. Again, McNamara very well on play-by-play -play, uh, or play-by-play -play situations in the second half. He was uh, five for six, but that one that uh, was not completed was an interception. Stetson Bennett even better in play-by-play -play mode in the second half. He only had one incompletion, going at seven for eight, and of course that doesn't take into account uh, the other simulated drives. So our total yardage. Crazy game, especially with the defenses here. Georgia, 80 plays for 542 yards. And Michigan, 72 plays. And that last Hail Mary put them over 600 freaking total yards in this game. Wow. 628 to be exact. So Georgia's defense battered, bruised, but not broken. The Bulldogs hang on for a 38-34 to 34 win. And I'm going to, hey, thanks for joining us, uh, JAA, Brock Riblet, and of course our good friend Matt, Steeler fan 1933. So I'm going to get in the, uh, well, you know, we'll do a tutorial later on how to distribute the stats. I'll uh, compile them offline. But yeah, very fun game, 38 31. That is our pre play. I do not think the real game will have this many points, but it is college football. You never know. And Georgia's defense did get shredded by Bama. So who knows? Anyway, that's Anthony with uh, Bleach Bums Gaming. And again, thanks to everyone for joining us. And again, if you like this, hit that thumbs up. And uh, we'll come back with Bama and Cincinnati at some point down the road. So hope you all have a great evening. We'll talk to you later. And and take